People's diets are creating chronic disease. And I believe chronic disease is a creation of the modern world. We created this um, because of our lifestyles, because inflammation also comes from stress and poor sleep and all that, and our diets. So tell us what kind of foods uh, can you eat to boost up your immune, immune system? Right. So what I found is most problematic is actually what people are missing. So we have a combination of problems. One is people are eating foods that create chronic inflammation. So inflammation is important part of your immune system. That's how you respond to infections, your inflammatory immune system, right? So you need that. Um, and the way you create your inflammatory immune system is through omega-6 fatty acids. So where do those come from? Well, naturally they occur a little bit in plant foods, they're in nuts and things like that, but they're in high amounts in animal products, meat and dairy, eggs, um, oils, and so when processed foods. So when people are eating a lot of that, they get so much omega-6, they actually create very high levels of inflammation that's not just a reaction to a virus, but it's just sitting there all the time and that can activate gene expression for disease, right? Now on the other side, the other part of your immune system is anti-inflammatory, and that comes from omega-3 fatty acids, which most people don't eat any of. So that's one problem. Omega-6 are through the roof, omega-3s are non-existent, and so you, you're skewed in the direction of inflammation. Um, but the other part is the way your cells repair themselves is with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and other phytonutrients that come from plants, especially raw plants. And who's eating, you know, large amounts of salad? There's some lettuce on their burger, but they're not going very far with that. So people's diets are creating chronic disease. And I believe chronic disease is a creation of the modern world. We created this um, because of our lifestyles, because inflammation also comes from stress and poor sleep and all that, and our diets. We are inflammation machines. And so we are getting sicker and sicker, younger and younger. I mean, the diseases that I only saw in adults as a medical student, I see in two-year-olds now whether it's high blood pressure, high cholesterol, lupus, kidney failure, it's happening in small children now because of how badly they are being fed and living their lives now, right? So what I found is a great first step though, because people are junkies, they are addicted to that crap now. And if you tell them to stop, they'll just walk away with their hands over their ears. I find adding what you're missing is actually a great step. So I call it hyper nourishment. And it's the intentional overdose of the nutrition your body uses to repair damage to cells and to create anti-inflammatory immunity. And so the easiest way to do it is what I got right here is I make these green smoothies, right? So the highest dose of vitamins and minerals you can possibly get is from leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, right? Um, most people don't like to eat a bunch of greens. So throw that in the blender, right? Omega-3 fatty acids to get your anti-inflammatory immune system. Grab a handful of flax or chia seeds, put that in the blender. Then you just put a little bit of fruit in there for flavor. I call it the spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. Some frozen mangoes, a pineapple, some frozen cherries, some sweet bananas, right? For the really ripe bananas. And then you put water in there. Water is actually the necessary component to get rid of inflammation, to have all these chemical reactions take place to create your fast metabolism and your good health. So you use the water in there. And so if you blend up the smoothie, you literally can supply all the nutrition your body uses to repair damage and get rid of inflammation through the straw. Now you can eat the components instead. You want a big salad, chia pudding, and a big jug of water, fine. I just find most people who won't eat salad will, will drink this as long as it tastes like mango, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's really what, where you want the majority of your food to come from is the hyper nourishment. I mean, this is my breakfast and lunch while I'm working. Uh, and then I might have some kind of cooked plant-based dinner uh, because I'm not looking for inflammation. I've been healthy 15 years and counting. Uh, and I'm in my mid forties. I feel better than I ever felt my whole life as a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very, very pleased to keep going this way. But even for people who are still eating the McDonald's, if you at least can start nourishing yourself, a couple things happen. One, you're too full to eat all the fries. Uh, two, you start feeling so much better you start to crave better food because you drink the smoothie and you have energy. You got Dr. G energy. You're just woof, can't wait. You're going, you're going. You don't even need your coffee. And then you have your burger and you pass out. And then you, you start to naturally want to crave more of those good foods. So I call that crowding out where we can start to do that. But you know, when people come to me in kidney failure, like I've published reversing end stage kidney failure, getting people off the transplant list on nutrition alone. I've done this. Okay. Those folks can't do add what you're missing and eat burgers. It won't work. Uh, they have to really do a strict program with me. But if you're just trying to introduce yourself to better health, adding what you're missing through hypernourishment is a great way to go.